A full-blown CRM system can be overkill for a lot of freelancers and small businesses. They can be complicated and expensive. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a basic CRM using Microsoft OneNote. Hi, welcome to Not Another Marketing Channel. My name's John Tromans. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for marketing tips and software reviews and lots of marketing stuff. You know where all the links and all the buttons and all the things are. There's lots of show notes as well down below, so make sure you, you check all that out as well. We're going to be talking about creating a CRM system, a really basic CRM system using Microsoft OneNote. CRMs can be complicated. They can be overkill for freelancers, for small agencies. We don't always Always need that workflow and that complicated stuff going on. If we're managing leads, we might only be managing half a dozen leads if we're a freelancer, for example. So we don't need that automation going on in the background. You can manage half a dozen leads just using email and a to-do list, for example. So CRMs can be really complicated, but we do need somewhere to be able to store our client information, the stuff that we need to access really, really quickly. So I'm going to show you in this video how to create a really basic CRM system using Microsoft OneNote. Let's jump in. So before we get going, I've got to mention that there's two different types of OneNote. There's OneNote that comes with Microsoft Office, and then there's OneNote for Windows 10, which comes automatically installed if your computer's got Windows 10. They're very similar. This is OneNote for Office, which you can see at the moment. It looks very much like Microsoft Office, really. If I click the little home thingy, you get the little ribbon thing at the top. This is Microsoft Office for Windows 10. Slightly different. OK, the interface is a bit different. If we click home, then that's all we get across the top. Now, the reason I'm showing you both is that I'm going to try and use both of these during the video. But now, there's a little bit more functionality with OneNote from Microsoft Office than there is OneNote for Windows 10. Not a huge amount, but it's subtle, but there's a little bit of a difference. So I'm going to try and point out some of those differences as we go along. Let's build a really simple, basic CRM system with OneNote. Now, on the left, you can see all of my notebooks, and one of them is called Clients. Okay, And this is what you need to do. You need to create a notebook, which is called Clients or Customers, whatever you call them. Right-click in this left-hand pane here and select New Notebook and create this, this new notebook. Now, the notebook will be stored on Microsoft OneDrive which is in the cloud. That's Microsoft. It's the same with the Windows 10 version of OneNote, same with the Office version of OneNote. What it also means is that you can access all of your client information on your phone as well, which is really, really useful. So if you've got Android, or you've got a, an, an iPhone, you can download the OneNote app and get access to all this information. So once you've got your notebook set up, we then need to create a section for each company you deal with. Now, in OneNote for Office, the sections appear at the top here. We can add new section, new section, new section, just like that. And each one of these little sections can be a company. We've got John's Amazing Company Limited at the top here. It's an amazing company. On Windows 10, it's very similar. On the left-hand pane here, we've got Clients, which is the notebook. We have John's amazing company here. And then what we can do is we can add new sections. So we can add new section, new section, new section. And it syncs up with the cloud. So we've got all this information. So each one of these sections can be a different company. OK, the next thing to do is to create three pages within your section within your company. OK, so John's Amazing Company Limited, we have a contact sheet, we have a design sheet, and we have notes as well. Now, you can add as many pages as you want to this list, depending on how you run your business. You might want a specific page for a specific project, or you might want some technical information, so specifications listed there. It's up to you how you do it. I tend to start my own little CRM system with each client, uh, working with just a contact sheet, a design sheet, and then a notes sheet as well. The contact sheet is pretty basic. It's just a table with two columns. 
and it holds all our contact information. You might want more contact information listed here than I've got, or you might want less contact. It's up to you. You design it how you want. But what you've got is you've got all the contact information in one place, on one page, within the section of John's Amazing Company Limited. So we have the company name, we've got the address, we've got phone numbers, email addresses, website, social media, bits and things. We've also got contacts as well. So you may just have one contact, you may have five contacts. It doesn't matter. You can put down all your contact information in this one page within OneNote and it's all in one place. If we look at the contact sheet in Windows 10, it looks exactly the same. You can add new contacts, add new rows, do whatever you want. You make this your own private little CRM and store whatever information you want in it. The next thing I tend to do is create a design sheet. Now, for a lot of marketing freelancers, uh, marketing agencies, this will be great for you because you can store all the design details of your client in one place so you don't have to go hunting around for them. This is what I do uh, for myself. So this is my based on my own website. I've got different brand colours. Uh, I've got the colour of the footer. If, if I need to know, OK, so what what is what colour is the background of a call to action button on the on the, the main content of the page, then I can I can find it out. Here's the main content call to action button background. It's that colour and I can pick up that little hex number there and I can throw it into my design and I've got the right colour when I want it. Now OneNote for Office does a really good job of being able to colour the left hand side of the table here, whatever colour you want. It does a really good job of it. So if we click on this table here and then we can see table at the top, you can see shading, we can go to more colours, custom, and then we can add the hex value of whatever our custom color is and make that left-hand column of the table exactly what you want. So if we do uh, 333333, like so, the cell properties now have changed to that color and it's that color. Now, it's a little bit different in Windows 10. Windows 10 doesn't give us the chance to be able to set these colors. We can add a background color and it will sync from the Microsoft Office version, which is why all these colors are exactly the same as the Microsoft Office version of OneNote. But if we go to table and then we go to shading and we look, we don't get the chance to be able to set an exact color. We can only choose the colors that the OneNote for Windows 10 gives us. OK, so this is one reason why I think the OneNote for Office version is a little more powerful because you can color the table uh, background uh, to whatever you want, whatever color you want. Um, to reflect the brand colour. And this is much better when you're actually working on a design or you're looking for a colour quickly. You can visually see exactly, what, right, I need the green. OK, there's the green. I, I know I know what that, that, that hex number is now. It just makes things work a little bit quicker and a little bit easier. So this is what I do for pretty much every client I get. I put a design sheet together. I even list out the different types of fonts that I use. Which font do I use for a header? Which do I use for a subtitle? Call to action button fonts? All of that sort of stuff. You might have more, you might have less. It depends on the type of work you do with your clients. But it's a really good idea to have all that information in one place. So when you're hunting for a particular colour, it's just there. It's in front of you. I also like to create a notes page for each one of my clients so that I can keep notes and I know exactly what's going on. Now, you might want to create more than one notes page. You might have notes for a particular project, for example, or you might want to split your notes into months, which is what I tend to do. And the interesting thing you could do is, is you could obviously just leave all your notes, but uh, Microsoft OneNote for Microsoft Office, that gives you the chance to add a really quick and easy timestamp. So if we click the insert menu, we have date and time, I can click it and it just puts in the date and time like so. So you can record the date and time and then write down exactly what uh, the comments or the, the notes are. And you can, you can even use this for meeting notes, for example, if you're meeting with your client or you're having a Zoom meeting, you can take notes and keep all the notes all in one place. 
It looks pretty much exactly the same in Windows 10 as well, only you don't get the little button that automatically puts in the time and date. That's another little difference, subtle difference between the two bits of software. So one night for one note for Windows 10, you'll have to actually type in the date and the time if you want to record that information. But again, you can add as many notes as you want to your client and just keep them all in one place. One of the great things about OneNote is that you can search through all of your notebooks really, really quickly. So if you've got lots of customers, for example, if all these sections across the top here are customers and you've got lots of them, you might have 15, 20, 30 of these all across the top here, then you want to be able to search for the right information instantly. So with OneNote for Microsoft Office, on the right-hand side, we have a little search box here and we can type in, say, amazing. And then straight underneath it, we got clients, John's amazing company. It's all there. Uh, and we can just click on the contact sheet. And there it is. The contact sheet appears straight in front of us. So we can find information for our clients really quickly. Search works pretty much the same in the Windows 10 version of OneNote as well. On the left hand side, there's a little search uh, magnifying glass. We click that and we can type in amazing. And then we get all the information. So we've got John's amazing company there and we can see the contact sheet, click on it and the contact sheet appears. This also works on your Android phone and your iPhone as well, on all the apps. It just syncs absolutely everywhere. So all this information is available to you, whatever device you use. I think OneNote can be used as a really simple CRM and, and be used really effectively, to be honest with you. I keep a lot of my client information uh, in OneNote and it's all stored there and I can access it on whatever computer device I'm using. It's really, really cool. What I'm going to do is leave a note down below for the download for the Office version of OneNote. Now, if you have a Microsoft Office 365 subscription, you'll probably already have it on your computer. If you're using Windows 10, you'll already have OneNote for Windows 10 installed on your computer. So just boot them up, create a, a notepad for clients and just get going. You can build this little miniature basic CRM uh, however you want it. You can add whatever pages, whatever information you need to add, build it around your workflow and the information you need to get access to really, really quickly. Uh, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, down below, you know what to do and watch out for more videos in the future.